Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please subscribe, turn on your notifications and get stuck in the comments below. If you're returning, it's nice to see you again. Thank you for coming back and supporting me more. I really, really appreciate it. Today, I wanted to take you through a really exciting present that I got for my birthday from my lovely partner. And it was an interesting one for me because it's a fragrance. I'd not told him anything about the fragrance. I'd not asked him to buy it for me. I wouldn't ask him to buy it for me anyway, you know what I mean? But I not asked him, you know, had he smelt it or anything like that. I'd never mentioned the fragrance to him, but it was one that I'd had my eye on to try. And it's from a brand that I've had a bit of a bad experience with before with the only fragrance of theirs that I've ever smelt. But I'd heard good things about this one and I wanted to go back and try more. And the brand is Keali. Now, for those of you that have seen my videos before, you'll know that I had a really kind of negative experience with Kaali Vanilla in that it is a phenomenal brown sugar, uh, kind of um, sweet, syrupy fragrance. I absolutely love the smell of it, but it doesn't last more than about 30 minutes on me. And I know I'm not alone in that. So not a great experience with Kaali Vanilla. However, I'd heard rumblings, and there's not too many reviews knocking around for this, but I'd heard rumblings that Kayali Deja Vu White Flower was a winner. And I wasn't going to blind buy it because the bottles are like £80, £90, something like that for the big one. But I don't need to blind buy it anymore because I was bought Kayali Deja Vu White Flower for my birthday. And I'm super grateful for it and quite impressed, to be honest. Boy did good. Uh, he, get this guys, he went on Fragrantica and looked up the notes and looked up the reviews. <laughs> I just think that's the cutest thing. He's not a fragrance person. He smells good. He wears nice colognes and things, but like, he's not like into fragrance like that. Um, but he has obviously picked up things from being around me and knew where to look. And, uh, he thought, yeah, that looks like something that would smell good. It looks like something Ellie would like. And he's right. When I unwrapped it, I was kind of nervous because I'd never smelt it before. And as some of you know that have been watching me, I'm kind of still going through like a recovery process from having had COVID a few months ago where my sense of smell completely went. And I still have some fragrances like BDK Rouge Smoking. Can't smell it. And I was kind of nervous when I unboxed this. I was like, what if I can't smell it? But I can. So I'm happy about that. The notes on this are gardenia, there is Indian jasmine, orange blossom, there's also tuberose and Tahitian vanilla. They have it outlined on the back as well, which I think is just a really nice touch with the packaging. I'm quite quite a fan of their packaging and I'm not normally um, the person that's like, look at the box. Like, I've, There's nothing wrong with that if you're paying for the experience, but I usually am like, no, let me smell what's inside. But with this, I really enjoy the box opens up like this, da, da 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 as you probably would expect it would because it's a container for the, fr the fragrance. And then here is the bottle itself. I'm a big fan of the Kaali bottles. They feel sufficiently weighty. I'm not sure if it would be classed as niche because they are owned by Huda Beauty, which is a beauty company. I don't know. They're slightly more niche priced, but they're cheap for being niche or expensive for being designer. So I don't know where they would fall. I'm interested to try Elixir 11, I think it is as well, which I've heard good things about, like rose, apple, um, slightly more oriental. But this is an oriental floral fragrance. Like I said, there's orange blossom, gardenia, jasmine. There is some vanilla in here, which I think is saving it from being one of those kind of, dare I say it, dated florals. You guys know me well enough to know now that I'm not a florals girl. Or at least I keep saying, maybe I am, maybe I'm just kidding myself, but this is like not a oh, floral. It's not Gucci Bloom. Again, I keep bagging on Gucci Bloom, but I just don't like it. Um, but it is the most kind of classy fragrance. I absolutely love it. I'm going to shut up and smell it now, but I just absolutely love it. I'm going to spray some on my arm. Mm. Oh, actually, one second. The <laughs> that went in my mouth. The mist are on this. Can you see this? Let me... Mmm, it's good. There is a peach note in this. Now, I can't smell peach, but I can smell what I thought might have been bergamot or lemon. 
It reminds me ever so slightly of the dupe from KDJ that I have for Lyra, which is obviously a uh, lemon and I think slightly orange based fragrance. So it's just kind of the citric nature of the peach that I'm picking up in this. But it, it reminds me, the smell reminds me or makes me think of like sparkling champagne, the sound of glasses clinking. It just, it smells fancy. It smells elevated. This isn't something that I would wear to just lounge around the house. This smells like put together. I wouldn't wait for like special occasions to wear it necessarily because like when am I going to have one of them? But I would wear it, you know, on a day where I feel like I'm I'm dressed nicely and I like the way that I look and I might be going out to the supermarket because it's the only place I can go right now. I might wear my Kaylee vanilla, um, Kaylee white flower, not my Kaylee vanilla. I didn't buy it because it doesn't last. Still angry about it. This is genuinely, I know I keep joking, but it's really, really beautiful. It is certainly a clean, sweet jasmine. It's not an indolic jasmine. I'm not so much of a fan of an indolic jasmine. To me, sometimes it smells a bit like bad breath. Uh, I know olfactor files have said the same thing, so I'm not crazy in that. But it definitely, you can get the orange blossom. Um, you get that kind of citric note as well from the, um, it turns out, I'm imagining it's probably the peach. There's also a little bit of patchouli in this, and there's kind of mixed reviews online. Some people say they can smell the patchouli really strongly. Some people say they can't smell it at all. I don't smell any patchouli, but I could imagine the patchouli and the vanilla at the base are just kind of what's helping like support the fragrance because with the orange blossom and peach and all these kind of lighter middle and top notes, it wouldn't last very long without some kind of base notes to kind of weight the fragrance. And I think that's what they've done with the vanilla and the patchouli. I get no patchouli, but the vanilla, the Tahitian vanilla, I can pick up, particularly in the dry down. It just kind of cozies the fragrance up a little bit. It's not a clean, sharp floral. Again, I don't really like them, but it just gives a slight sweetness and a slight warmth to what is a really kind of classy, elegant floral fragrance. I'm so happy I've got this. It's just beautiful. I'm really happy I have it. I'm looking forward to slightly warmer weather. I don't think this is the weather at the moment for the kind of pro projection with this. The sillage is nice. I've been told by my boyfriend kind of walking through the house and it smells really nice, but the projection is not great on this. However, it's a floral fragrance and it's like zero degrees outside. So, you know, go figure. I wouldn't really have expected that anyway. I'm looking forward to wearing this in spring. I think in the UK spring when it gets a little bit warmer, this will really shine. It is sunshine in a bottle to me. It just smells, like I said, really elevated, really elegant, but it smells kind of sunny. I think maybe it's just because it's floral. It just, it makes me happy. There's something about this that really just makes me, makes me smile. And I'm looking forward to playing with it more in the spring and summer. So that is Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. If you're looking at buying yourself a bottle of Kayali Deja Vu White Flower, you can get this on Selfridges if you're in the UK. I believe you can get it on sites in the US like uh, Bloomingdale's and Saks as well, kind of more high-end department stores. And on top of that, you can of course find it at Kayali's own website. As far as I'm aware, this has not yet hit any discounter websites. I've never seen any Kaali on there. I've only ever seen it on sale for full price or the odd occasion where Kaali themselves run a, a sale around Christmas time and things like that. But this came out in January 2020, so it's still relatively new. It's just a year old. I think that other fragrances, the initial launch, are now two or three years old. So hopefully in the next few months to a year, we may well start seeing Kaali on discounters. Or if you've seen any on there already, let me know because I'm interested to try Elixir 11 uh, and see if that has a better kind of experience than I had with vanilla. But for now, I can wholeheartedly recommend to you guys that you try the Deja Vu White Flower, particularly if you're someone who says, I don't like florals like me, you'll probably be eating your words. So try it out. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.